Good afternoon and welcome to the vlog. Today we're gonna see if we can switch the the spoiler control, the little switch that's at the wheel well in this car, and probably or go ahead and put it on the dash itself on one of the empty slots by the radio. Kind of sucks when you going up the road and I uh, just want to bring out the tail but you don't you're not going 75 miles an hour where it comes up on its own so you got to do one of these and hold it for about five, five or six seconds until the tail comes up what we want to do is go ahead and relocate that switch to the dash by the radio for easy and convenient you know reach so I went ahead and I purchased a switch on uh, one of the internet sites for about $15 or so it wasn't expensive and they shipped it out pretty quick and it shouldn't take long it's only three little cables that you got to reroute but we'll go step by step and hopefully tackle that uh, that issue I want to I wanna thank you guys for the views. I'm getting some thumbs up. I know this is uh, really early in the, in the vlog channel, YouTube kind of thing. But hey, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm happy to do what I'm doing and to show you guys how to do it. Hopefully we can continue to do that. Your comments are always ap appreciated. And for all you guys with a 996 that want to relocate the button, hopefully this video will help you out. So if you like it, go ahead and subscribe, give it a thumbs up so we can continue putting content and bring you the best I can. So without any delay, let's go ahead, get to our location and finish putting up this, uh, this switch. So in the driver's footwell, we have the button here for the spoiler up and down. But as you know, this is very uncomfortable to bring it up or down while you're driving or even when you're cleaning the car. It's kind of a little bit out of the way. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the fuse box and we're gonna get behind here and disconnect this switch to get this off just pull here take it out get it out of the way and behind here you're gonna have the connector just wiggle it out and you're gonna see the three prongs one two and three and we'll use these same prongs we're gonna disable this so no longer it's gonna work and we're gonna use these three prongs and run wires from here to the new button that's going to be on the center console by the by the radio we'll get to that now so with these empty slots here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the spoiler button right here we're gonna remove this and we're gonna go ahead and put this new button which cost me about 15 to 20 dollars on eBay and the part number on this it's right here so 
So let's get started. First thing we want to do is remove this part, but you want to be very careful you don't damage the leather or even the paint. So if you have a plastic spatula or a plastic pry tool, that's great. If you don't, even one of these uh, painters uh, spatulas will work very well. Just put it behind and just pop it right out. It's that easy. There we go. So now in the back you have this tab here and you can put a screwdriver or you can pull it up yourself and push the button out. And now we have the button where we're going to go ahead and put that. And what we're going to do is going to wire or wire approximately five feet long. We can put through here and bring it to the fuse box. Now, what I'm going to use is just spare wire that I have around the house. And I'm basically going to use three different colors. And I'm going to undo the ends undo the ends on all these and then I'll put connectors these connectors will be attached to the back of the um, of the unit like so and then the male connectors I'm gonna go ahead and these are going to go right in here on the receiving unit. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start crimping these wires. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to hold these here and I am going to braid the cables. Just hold these in place with a tie tie. I'm going to eventually get rid of the tie tie but just to hold them there. Okay so I uh, finished braiding and if you notice this, you know, with this spare wire. One thing to note, for example, if you have to attach these wires, ideally you do not want to attach wires, but since this is not a major thing and this is just wires I had extra, I went ahead and attached them. But you really should not attach them at the same length. Try to scatter them out like this one here. That way when you braid them, you don't get this little knot here. So here it is. This is the end of the braid. One of the things you can do is just twist. And here you have these three ready to go of the switch here. Right here like this. And the other end I'm going to take off this tie tie, no need for that anymore, and we'll just do a couple of turns here, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and run the wire. Um, so you can see the it comes out right here just pull it through now put the new switch 
in here again on the back there we go locks in and I'm gonna put the blue wire in the bottom just to give me a reference and the yellow and red to either side so the wires are in place the button is in place we can go ahead and put this back where it goes and then we will go on to the foot well. I used the blue one on this side. We're gonna stick the blue one there. And the yellow and red on either of these sides. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck away these wires. make sure you tuck all your wires where they're not seen and we're putting back the footwell make sure it goes in neatly There you go. And make sure you put this, this weather seal correctly. That way, you know, it looks a nice, clean job. And of course, don't forget to put your screws. your panel cover there you go so now for the moment of truth we're gonna try this out So, yes, can the connections be done cleaner? Maybe put some shrink wrap around it? Of course, it can all be done. But for my purposes, all I need is to relocate the tail button. And that's all I need. Uh, it's not like I'm gonna resell the car and I need to make it look perfect so it doesn't look like a rig. You can't see the wires and for what I need, it serves its purpose. But yes, you can go all out and put a little protecting cover over the, the wires or, or put electric tape throughout all the wires. You can do all that, bells, whistles, whatever you like. But my main point to you was how to relocate it and the basic basic things you might need so if you found this video instructive you liked it give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe i'll be looking forward to your comments and you guys have a great day